Fred, look. There's nothing on the other side of it. We've made it. We're at the top. But we can't be there. The dad of the Dolan left, he, he didn't say anything about a rock deep. He said the top was a plateau, a snowfield, where the glacier started. Come over here. Look. There's the snowfield down there. You... You mean... He never really reached the top. It's a double peak, and he never even saw this bird. We're the first to climb Lachino. But if that's true, he'd be lied about it. And something just occurred to you. Testy look. Yeah. He could be Dorlan. His body was never found, and with his face gone, no one would recognize him. He got the job here at the weather station. And has been living here to protect his feet. And he killed my father. And he's been getting up here in his place. Sam, what are we going to do about it? Our first job is going to be to get down. The last leg, darling. Mm. Here's the west wall out. Just make this rope fast. <gasps> My Scott. There. Look there. Yeah. Frozen in the ice. Look at that beard. The skins he's wearing. The stone tipped spear in his hand. There's the god whom the natives tell legends about. A prehistoric hunter that was frozen in the glacier a hundred thousand years ago. Then if we can get him out, get him back to civilization. We will. We'll come up here tomorrow with Ferguson. And I'll start down the rope. Wait for me on that ledge just below there. Yes, sir. All right. Come on, down. Coming. Stand clear. This isn't the ledge, it's the mouth of a cave, and... And back there, look. Metal cylinders. Liquid air. So that's... That's how Scotty died. I don't understand you. Either. Your father brought them up here to freeze and preserve anything he might find in the glacier. Like that hunter. When Scotty climbed up here yesterday, Dorland sprayed the stuff on him. He was dead, frozen solid before he hit the ground. Man. Let's get out of here fast. Come on, down the road. Yes, Van, but you come too. It'll hold us both. All right, come on. You see? The rope swaying badly. It seems to be slipping. You're not slipping. I am untying it. Van, it's catchy, look. He's up on top of the cliff. Darling, darling, don't stop. Oh, you know who I am, eh? Then you probably guessed the rest. Then I lied. Then I didn't go to the top. Then I killed Blair and Scotty. To keep them from discovering it, just as I'm going to kill you. Dolan, for heaven's sake! It's my mountain, mine. While I live, the world will go on thinking that I was the only one that ever climbed it. And this last one not, and you'll die for it. Dolan, for heaven's sake! What's that? An avalanche! It's shouting like that started it. It's going up. Ah. It's coming down the snowfield. Hold tight and pray that it clears us. It went out past us. Van, what happened to Dolan? Swept him over the edge. He's down there under a million tons of ice. But there on that ledge. Look. A stone tip sea. The one the hunter frozen in the glacier had in his hand. The avalanche must have carried him down, too. The Chinos has finally come down from the mountain. He had to wait there, frozen in the ice, for a hundred thousand years. But he finally got his quarry, Dorland. <laughs> And 
That was the tale of the hunter from beyond. The hunter from before time and history. Of course, you've heard other stories where it took a long time to bring a criminal to justice, but uh, have you ever heard one before where someone waited 100,000 years to get their man? Patience may be a virtue in some things, Raymond, but certainly is not.